What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of This Is The Police. Boop! 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 Um, I gave you an extra boop right there. Cause I know the last couple days I've been frustrated with the game. I'm still like just kind of... I don't know. I'm just keeping my head down about it. I just want to finish the game off is really what it comes down to. Doctor Equipment in City Hospitals outdated. Rogers Mayor, I congratulate our graduates. Gallery of Modern Art host suicidal artist Sigmund Hammerling. It really, actually the only thing that's really screwing us is the car crash mechanic. If it wasn't for that, we'd be fine right now. Had I known that that was going to occur and it was going to automatically kill officers every couple days, I would have been more concerned about it. However, that being said, class is coming into work today. I'm sick of him calling out. I don't care. I might send him on calls and just hope he dies in a car accident. He's starting to irritate me with his bullshit. But yeah, I, I think that's one of those metagame things. Is if you had known the event does what it does and how far-reaching the effects would be, you definitely would not have taken it. And no other event in the game has had an effect that far-reaching. Not a single one. And so it's like one of those things where you don't expect it because no event has been that destructive so far in the entire game. Let me take those four out there. Driving under the influence. A man is driving a buggy along the beach, knocking people over. Eyewitnesses say he's laughing like a lunatic. I really wish you could swap people's orders in here. Let's put Mitchell on it. We've got Chin and Flowers. That should be cool. I'll have him take like a little nub squad with him. Uh, detective was declined. Inspection reported multiple violations, which are undoubtedly contributing to the serious decline in your partner's efficiency. The penalty for these violations is 25% of your bank account. That's illegal. You can't do that. If you require further clarification, if you wish to appeal this decision, please send a formal request to the mayor. You'll receive an answer. I've never heard of somebody getting a penalty in money for doing their job improperly. That's kind of crazy. I'm going to take all the excess money out of the account right now. And we're going to use this to the best of our ability to hopefully pick up a new officer or maybe a new detective. Who do I have available in internal affairs? I've got some okay officers around. I've got a really good detective, though. So I'll probably take the detective in this case. Atticus Corp. Donation for a detective, please. We have a new detective slot. Investigations open up. That's not what I wanted. I will take Benny Cross, and we will hire him for B, I guess? Yeah, A's got four, B now has four. That'll keep him evened out. Might be a decent idea to dogpile all my detectives on one thing. We've got an unlawful assembly over here. Some parents have gathered outside City Hall. Their children have all been diagnosed with mucopolysaccharidosis, a rare genetic disease that affects the nervous system, internal organs, and musculoskeletal system. You can just say it affects their entire body. Freeburg stopped purchasing the drugs required to treat these children because the medicine failed to pass annual certification. Parents are furious. Mrs. Paltry, leader of the rally, shouted into the bullhorn, this disease is killing our children. All they can do is play politics. Okay. I don't know. Send some people out, I guess. Give him a level up opportunity, I suppose. We'll keep class back here on paperwork or something since he's always drunk. For the assault, we need four for that, and we don't have four, so not going to be possible. Our investigations are all over the place, so I'm not really sure about anything right now with our investigations. Not feeling super good about it. We've got harassment going on on this side. Apparently there's somebody harassing schoolgirls at the swimming pool. Can't really help out too much with that right now. Ah, uh, the buggy is rushing straight at the patrol car. Shoot out the tires? Well, there you go. It was that simple. We found cocaine. Man, I'd be excited about that. We're at the beginning of the game. I'd be really, really excited. We've got a labor union mission. We've got disturbing information. Post management or port management hired a gang of thugs to teach our top union officials a lesson, hoping we back down in the negotiations the new port worker contract. Our sources have informed us they're planning to catch us one by one and, so to speak, persuade us to change our position. We need protection for the remainder of negotiations. Could you send a few trusted men? That's not a few. That's my entire force. The inspection is over. They're leaving the police station. The unlawful assembly. They were able to handle that without too many issues, so there's a bit more. Not going to make harassment, unfortunately. Hopefully nobody gets murdered. The men weren't perverts, but licensed lifeguards. They've given the schoolgirls a first aid lesson. Oh, that's good. Hooray! I love it when I duck my responsibilities. It's one of my favorite things to do in life. 
Responsibility. What's that? Responsibility, not quite yet. That's right, you didn't expect an MXPX reference today, did you? A mass riot. That's when you go to church and the priest, the padre, is just like, Riot! And everybody freaks out in church. Thomas Baxter Baker at Crispy Tommy claims that his rival Jerome Roll of the Livelihood Bakery has been spreading false rumors that Baxter spits in the pastries and mixes in hazardous chemicals. Many of his customers have apparently bought into the rumors and have gathered outside the store ready to deal with the unfortunate banker. There are dozens of angry people. I managed to lock the door, but it won't keep them out for long. We should probably send some people over. It would probably be well advised. That seems good enough. That's the type of police work we want to do. Police work that's, eh, it's good enough. Well, class, I hope you don't crash into a wall. Jelko Krobler reports that he overheard his hysterical neighbors fighting and swears it must have been heard for separate voices. A short time later, shots were fired and everything went quiet. Mr. Gobbler has previously noticed suspicious people in the residence and even saw them with weapons, but until now he's afraid to do anything. I don't know what I'd say face to face with those tattooed thugs, admitted Grobbler through streaming tears. There's no way I could face them. You seem a tad hysterical, amigo. It might be a uh, false alarm. We'll see how it goes down here. Please don't crash your cars, by the way. Drive safely. I know the gas is making the engine make a weird knock noise, but don't worry about it. A terror threat. The eve of the premiere, the longest fingered anonymous caller threatened that he was going to blow up the hall with all the moviegoers inside. The theater director said the perpetrator had a voice like a child. He's confident that it's a simple prank, but is nonetheless obliged to inform the police with the threat. Man climbed into the lake at the zoo trying to catch a swan. According to a worried zoo visitor, the man is crazy. He said he'd kill the bird if it didn't come. Alright, I can't really send anybody out right now. I mean, I would love to respond to some of these calls. Don't get me wrong. It would be the best. But, there's nobody to send. Mass riot. Hooray. We arrested people. You've got to be kidding me. You've seriously got to be kidding me. Oh my god. Yeah, it was a fourth grader who didn't want to go to a thing. Oh god. What do you even say to this? What do you even say to this? No frames found for the rape, which means we have the frames. I just can't figure it out. Follow the sequence of events, and it doesn't appear to be correct, so what the shit do I know about anything? Bring the premiere of a new movie, secret agent Jasmine Roach, a man burst into the theater and started loudly protesting the violence in the film. At first, he was just verbally abusing people who were trying to enjoy the show, but it quickly turned into a full-on fight. We already have reports of one victim. This is probably our last call of the day, so just send everybody... I doubt there will be any more calls. I'd be really surprised. It's weird that Class survived today while shit-faced. He was shit-faced yesterday, too! God damn it, Class. He's drunk every day. Why can't I go beat the shit out of this bartender that keeps giving beer to my officers and screwing up their shifts? It's a simple option. If I can arrange to have somebody murdered on my force, why can't I arrange to have a simple bartender murdered? It's in a dangerous industry. Probably easy to get rid of. We've got lots of enemies. And there it is. I mean, some of the people we lost weren't very good. But Dixon and Chin, that's pretty good brain drain. That sucks. It sucks pretty hard. Tragedy on the advertising set. Spotlight collapse, director kills, suburbs host Asian culture festival study. Racism is a disease. We'll hire more people today. We can only replace two of the four that we lost with our current output. Hadaka didn't come in. Come in tomorrow, because we're going to need you either way. We're probably in trouble with the mayor. How much you want to bet we get bitched out by the mayor this morning?
department's budget has been cut yet again. Affairs. Let's handle our hiring now. This is going to be for shift A, shift A, and shift A. We're bleeding out a little bit right now. Drug use. Literature teacher Mrs. Gunderson noticed traces of white powder on the backpacks of senior students. All of them are taking drugs and coming to class stone. What is happening to our youth? That one seems a little iffy. A lawyer, Paul Hurges, exited his car and noticed some menacing guys painting a swastika on the parking lot. It looked like one of the guys had a gun in his belt. If you arrest him, give him my number. I'd be happy to... Ah, it's the lawyering way. I'd be happy to represent them. You three head out. Gibbons. Song go out to that one. I doubt it's going to be anything that serious. The city's having a marathon. The police need to be pres and provide us with support. I don't see how that's like a pressing need, but I guess I can get in on it. I really, I wish I knew what was on this one. I really sincerely do because I'm a bit confused. I I think that the girl did it. I'm pretty sure because the scissors are the big thing, unless it's a false positive, but. I don't know. I mean, technically, the dildo could be anywhere in here. She could have pre-prepared it. Or I guess prepared it beforehand. I really feel like we've got this one. Like, sincerely, I feel like we've got this one. Hey, I got it. Yay, that only took forever. Emily Carr, friend of the victim. Emily's been in love with John Zim for a long time. Ignores her favors Hannah Nelson. She couldn't take it. She took revenge on them both for the good old Rowenge. So we'll pick them up tomorrow, I guess. Armed robbery over here. That's not good. Truck rammed into a bank. A man carrying a gun jumped out and demanded the trunk or the truck be filled with cash. Alright. I guess send some people over with SWAT. Not really like the most stacked force I would have liked to have, but I guess it'll have to do for now. There's an assault at the Wise Dragon restaurant. I really can't lose any more officers. This keeps going poorly. Four officers lost in one event. That's not a good day for us. That's really not a good day for us. And that was on some dumb shit, too. Like, I wasn't expecting to lose that many people. Assault. So, nothing there. Okay, somebody died. Traces of white powder on the backpacks were chalk dust. Great. Fantastic. I love wasting my time. We have a firefight. Terrified, Miss Mosley called to report your gunshots on the floor of her building. When I heard the shots, I looked at the people and saw several men shooting at each other. I fell to the floor and crawled to the phone. Probably gonna have to leave that one, too, unfortunately. Employees and bank pantries are throwing packets of money into the truck. A man with a gun is directing them. Fill up the truck. Fill up the truck. Aim at the robber. Uh, the robber opens his jacket, showing he's got dynamite strapped to him. I'll blow everybody to hell unless you get out of my way. Stun grenade him. I'm surprised that worked. I expected more bodies. It's weird that they still drop loot this far into the game. Like, you would think they wouldn't drop loot anymore once you're at, like, a certain point. Assault with an offensive weapon. Joseph Hopper met his neighbor Sharon Roberts while she was walking Dee Dee, her chihuahua. He grabbed her by the hair and began to shout and berate her. He claims she's gotten a smell of skunk all around his house, and her staircase is filthy. He repeatedly struck the girl, then grabbed the dog and cut his throat with a large hunting knife. A young man passing by stood up for the terrified woman, and a fight has broke out. Well, good for you, man. I don't mess with people with big-ass knives. I ain't playing that noise. I mean, maybe if I had a gun. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. I really wish I had enough officers to respond. But I don't. Turns out nobody touched the girl. She was unhappy with the grade her philosophy teacher gave her and decided to teach him a lesson on her own. Professor entered the auditorium. She closed the door and began to scream. Hmm. Well, we've got a big-ass counterfeiting ring. About 15 congregants of the Church of the 13th coming have gathered in the park, covered themselves in gasoline, and are preparing for mass self-immolation to assist in the Lord's return that he may punish all the sinners. Sounds like a plan to me. Have fun burning to death. Not the police's job to stop this from happening. If you all want to be deluded and burned to death, by all means, be deluded and burned to death. Not my problem. I'm going to go report. I'm going to go take care of the real crimes. Don't mind me. I'm serious. They're going to burn to death. I don't care. Like, legitimately, that's a pet peeve of mine. 
It's not the responsibility of society to stop crazy people from doing crazy shit. Hmm. Not my problem. You want to burn to death in the middle of a public park? Burn to death in the middle of a public park. Just, you know, hire somebody to clean up the mess afterwards. Man, we cannot keep up with this right now. This is not so great. Hostage situation with fatal casualties. Can't respond to that one. Might be able to go to the theft. A burly man pulling up park benches and loading them in their truck. It was night, so I asked him what he's doing, and he said he was said he was doing an inventory of its property. That's probably about correct. As soon as he spots the police, he grabs a bag filled with money and makes a break for it. Chase him? I mean, there are a number of other options we could have gone for, but I guess that works. Yay, more dead bodies. I'm hoping day 180 is a half a year, because we aren't going to last much longer. No new frames for the abduction, really. Why does it have those in the sequence? So they pull up, got that, got the tickets, they do her, and there it is. Peter Murphy, longtime member of Race's Gang. Murphy believes that blacks take jobs away from whites and wants to solve the problem once and for all by eliminating all the black children in Freeburg. Jim Collins, faithful friend of Peter Murphy, obeys his orders and hopes to become a member of the gang. Okay. So where are we headed? Send Buka Rika and Song on that one, and yeah, we'll send SWAT too. I don't care about the mass riot. I would rather solve the investigation because then I get paid a bunch of money. This is why we don't incentivize police work with cash. Oh no, more people beat each other to death because nobody in this town has any self-control, awareness for law, order, or otherwise any concern for their fellow citizen. Oh no. Oh, apparently we're assaulting now. Okay, a warning would have been nice, but whatever. So we'll have it at night, arrange your forces wisely, remember there's no room for error. I feel like that's about right. I mean, I don't really feel like we need to move anything. So upon fiddling around, it looks to me as though I can put multiple people on each position. So that kind of throws a wrench in things. That means I gotta go back through here, and so he was unemployed. Large caliber rifles, pond caretaker, so there was a rusted out sewer grate in the pond a ways off from the boat station. So that's number one, it looks like. So we probably put both divers on number one then. That seems about right. And then... God, I don't know. Maybe like a leader and assault right there. Like an assault. Like these two are the offices that he shares. So we probably want to reinforce those pretty well. Like having a couple snipers right there might be a better plan. Like maybe another assault from here. I was thinking at it as it, like, we had to go through the front gate and, like, sweep through, and I guess I just had it wrong. I don't really know what else to say, like. I don't really know what to do with the leader. Like, I could really ostensibly, like, put him anywhere, I think. It looks okay to me. I don't know. My issue is I don't know what to do with this guy right here. Like, he just kind of seems like the odd man out right now. Like, I don't really know what to do with it. But they said for sure the mayor would be inside of here. What is position 9? I think that's 9 right there, but somebody got shitty handwriting. They need to work on that. It looks like an S. Or is that 5? Wait, what is position 9? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's got to be 9. Yeah, that's got to be 9. I didn't see five over here, so. Oof. He's probably on this side of the building is what everybody said. I don't even know what nine is. It just looks like a stairwell to me, so shit if I know. What do these guys do? They can break through protected and reinforced positions, can target any object and create a tactical advantage. They usually work alongside assaulters who supply cover. Well, shit balls. So he's got to go with an assaulter? I don't know, just follow him around. I'm sure it'll be fine. Did they say what the museum... So that was with that... 
the gallery building is that the gallery right there is that the gallery oh that's a i think that's a a building position right there from the front you may want to take it well like he's over here though the the mayor is on this side of the building i don't know what to do like presumably these guys would swoop them up i don't even know what's going to happen when i activate this in all honesty i couldn't even remotely tell you. Um, seems okay. Stuart Rogers was shot during the assault. Mr. Boyd, I will not bore you with praise. You know full well how fine a job you've done. I'd rather take advantage of this opportunity. We so rarely write letters to touch upon what we've never dared speak of in person, Miss Lana Berman. I know that what I did must have hurt you. I once told you that I feel no pleasure in the suffering of others, and I was not lying, so please do not imagine I am prone to vile whims whatever attacked you so personally. You know why I had to do it, and I imagine that's why you never brought it up. I understand that this morning Kevin Paulson is taking your place. I already have a plan to get rid of him, but tomorrow you'll just have to look... On in silence as he mismanages the police department. I imagine this will be unpleasant for you, but your torments will be short-lived. By day's end, I will send you a note describing how we are to proceed. Okay. Mayor Rogers resisting arrest, killed in armed standoff. Freeburg police storm City Hall. Stuart Rogers killed in a shootout. Freeburg coup d'etat. I just don't see this going over well inside of, like, a democracy where there's, like, a hierarchy of authority. Hey, Jack! Do you mind if I take Stet's office? Your office seemed a little ratty. No offense, Jack. Jack! I don't mind the broken nose, Jack. I know you were just upset. Hey, Jack, talk to me. Jack! Jack! <laughs> oh, wow, we gotta play another day, huh? Alright. Oh, no, we don't. There's no UI. Was that the ending? Or are we watching him just like screw up and get people killed nonstop? I hope so because I need to feel better. This game has destroyed my morale. It's made me feel like I am terrible at managing anything and that I'm just a salty bastard. He sends out a lot of cars. Maybe I just send out too many officers. That's also possible. But every time I don't send out enough, we lose hella guys. Like, damn. I'm kind of like... I, I think I'm in a weird position with this game, in all honesty. Like, the front half of the game I really, really enjoyed. And the storyline and the setting and everything like that. I enjoyed all the moral consequences and how you to take sides in a mob war and all that kind of stuff. And I like how you slowly watch yourself slip into just depravity once you realize how much money you can make. But the back part of the game, like the last three to four weeks of the game, just kind of left me sour. And I'm not sure if the ends justify the rest of the game. Like, it's a tough game for me to recommend a purchase on. It's a tough one. Because I do like the game, and it's polished, and there are nice things in it, and it's fun to play. I'll probably play it again in the future. But it's also a game that I don't think you do very well with your first time through, when you're just kind of bumbling with things and trying to figure out, like, metagame is going to help a lot in this. Once you've beaten it one time, I see your second playthrough going very, very smoothly without issue. Because then you know what the consequences are to all the stuff that you're coming across. It's kind of like playing Papers, Please for the second time. It's like you know what's going to happen so you can prepare for it. Are the days normally this long? They don't feel this long to me a lot of the time. Maybe it's because I'm constantly doing things and getting shot in the face and my life getting ruined by criminals. Hmm. 
Can I like click or get out of here? I don't know. He's just been running cars all over town for like the last 10 minutes. I made my half a million, so you know what? I'm the man. I'm going to count it as a win in my book. I didn't do that many terrible things, did I? We really didn't bring down any gangs either. Then again, I killed the kid with the one gang. I think we took down that one Chinese gang, though. The one with the guy with the red jacket or whatever. The other one we would have gotten done with. The one with the abduction or whatever. We were getting closer. It's just didn't have time to play with it. I think I only didn't solve one case. So that's not terrible. Mr. Boyd, ever since we first met, you have filled my mind with questions. Will we ever have a meeting of the minds? I doubt you share many of my ideals, but I never doubted your intellect. And by now, I have little doubt that you, an intelligent man, have already figured out that I can't possibly keep all my promises. Your time is up, Mr. Boyd, even as mine is just beginning. I suppose it would be unpleasant if come tomorrow security ejects you from the building. We're better men than that, and I ask that you be gone from the police station by dawn. As for the other part of the deal, don't worry. I won't leave you empty-handed. In this bag, you'll find enough money to last you the rest of your life. That is a lunch bag. I know for a fact that cannot hold enough money to last me the rest of my life. I, I know what stacks of money look like. I can formulate them in my head just based on their dimensions. And even fill with $100 bills, you might get like... Mm, 100 grand in there. Maybe. That's not enough to last the rest of your life. It is the 70s, but... Huh. Huh. This guy, Freeburg Prosecutor Shea Broom dies a heart attack. Freeburg winter, the coldest of 60 years. Deputy Police Chief Martin Stett found dead and mutilated. Holy shit. How can I help you, sir? Uh, I just want to go in. Excuse me, sir. Only members are allowed into the club. Don't I look like a member of the club? I'm sorry, sir, but the club is not accepting new members at this time. <laughs> what are you, brand new here? I'm an old member of the club. I've been a member for 30 fucking years. I'm sorry, sir, but I think you've made a mistake. Have a good evening. Yeah. Like I said, tough game to score because the back end I didn't really enjoy. But the front end I really enjoyed and the production values were great. I love the voiceovers and the storyline and everything else. That's a tough one for me. That's a really, really tough one for me. So, I don't know. You have to judge for yourself if it's the sort of thing that you were into. I loved the first kind of 50-60% of the game. And then after that it got a little slow and a little grindy and a little... You know, some of the events got kind of annoying. I don't know. My name is Splattercat. I'll see y'all in whatever comes next. Thanks for hanging out for a quadrillion episodes to play the game. I will see you all in whatever decides to descend on the channel next. It was fun. Bye, everybody.